Hi guys, it's me and Bodhi. Hello! It's me, Miss Manifesta, helping you open a spiritual doorway to the abundance that you deserve. Today's video is kind of a food for thought video. It's a food for thought video. It's designed to inspire you and get you thinking about the way that you want to consciously manifest your experience, okay? So I'm just going to dive straight into it. But if you're new to the channel, please make sure that you click the subscribe button and hit the bell to get regular updates from me. So let's start here. The classic Abraham Hicks formula for manifesting is we ask, we then believe, and then we receive it. So you're asking, you're setting the intention, you're saying, this is what I desire. Then we're saying, do we believe in it or not? Do we have the faith to carry this through? And then the idea is that with the right action and the right allowing and the faith to back it up, then we will receive our manifestation. But I want to switch this round on you a little bit today. If you believed first and then you asked for your manifestation, how much quicker do you think that would speed up your manifestation process? It would speed up your manifestation process a lot because if you believe before you even ask, the faith is already there. The trust is already there, whether that is into the universe, source, the outside, um, you know, power, however it is that you identify, or, you know, even just belief in yourself that this is possible for you, that you can manifest this, that you're worthy of it, that you're capable of it, whatever that belief system is, okay? If you knew that before you then sat down, sat down and set that intention and you said, this is what I'm manifesting, this is what I desire. Gosh, you would let go so much quicker. You wouldn't be worrying about it. You wouldn't be thinking, where is it? What am I doing? Like, I don't think I can do this. I don't think this is possible for me, which just is resistance, guys, and it's just stalling you on your manifestation process, okay? Whereas if you do the belief process, if you build up your belief systems, if you do your, the subconscious programming that I talk about sometimes on this channel, you're just going to increase your power for manifestation. So this is my challenge to you guys over the next week or whenever it is that you watch this, especially as we're coming up to the new moon. A lot of people like to set their intentions around the time of the new moon. How can you increase your faith? How can you increase your belief system? How can you increase the belief system in that the universe has got your back? How can you increase your belief system in yourself? that you're worthy of this and that you're capable of it. Because also, if you know and you believe in yourself and you believe in this, you if there's action that you need to take, you will get up and you will take the action because you fully believe in where it is that you're going. If your belief system is saying you're not good enough or you're not going to make it or whatever that is, you are a lot less likely to take the right action. You might procrastinate on it or you might just not take it whatsoever because you just don't believe that you deserve it or that it's possible. So belief systems can show up and affect us in many, many different ways. So what I want you to do is to think about ways that you can increase your belief next time you're coming up to setting an intention. So working on the belief before you're doing the ask, okay? Some of the ways that you can do this is in the form of journaling. Uh, and in the form of the Abraham Hicks focus wheel. So the great thing about the focus wheel is that it is getting you to focus on what you know, what you know to be true, rather than kind of like, it's not setting a goal and saying, um, I want this, I want this, these are the actions that I'm going to take. That's not how you use it. You can write out, I know I've manifested money before. I find money on the pavement. I see other people get money, so maybe it's possible for me too whatever it is, but like telling yourself stuff that you know to be true, stuff that feels believable, and then getting some momentum around that, increasing that faith. You can also do journaling um, where you can say, thank you for that time I received that unexpected check, for example. Um, whatever it is that you're asking for, evidence that it's already possible. I want you to focus on all the times that you've already been blessed, where the universe has already had your back, where there was like a synchronicity that you were like, oh my God, and then you followed it and then look what happened. Or you were in the right place at the right time and you're like, I know I was meant to be there at that time to bump into that person. Whatever it is, 
like I want you guys to journal and write about all the times that the universe has sort of had your back, that you have increased your faith, because it's really easy for us to just enjoy that in the moment and then sometimes it just like goes on the back burner like faith and patience that our manifestations are coming take time you know they, it's a muscle that we have to flex we have to build it over time it's not something where it's just like i have faith like faith is usually built on often built on things where we've experienced it and so we get the evidence and then we kind of feel like yeah okay i do have faith um so I want you to kind of do that. Focus on what you do know. Focus on the times that you've felt blessed, whether the universe has had your back, synchronicities, divine timing, absolutely anything so that you can go, you know what, I know everything is working out for me. Also, you know, if there's like all these other manifestations that have come through for you and you're just waiting for this one thing, but you're focusing on this one thing, well, if the universe has took care of all this other stuff, do you not think the universe is taking care of that one other thing too? It's... It's taking care of everything for you guys. Just because that one thing hasn't come through for you yet doesn't mean that it's not on the way. And just changing your language, you know, I think a lot of people come on YouTube wanting manifestation stuff and expecting it to come the next day. It can come the next day. I'm not saying that. It can come the next day. But you have to have the belief system to back it up. Um, and so being patient, being patient with yourself uh, whilst you're waiting for your manifestation to come through, being patient with the process and not saying it hasn't worked, blah, blah, blah. You can just say, it's not here yet, but I know it's on the way. I'm trusting that it's on the way. I'm trusting the timing. I'm trusting myself that this is coming through for me. And finally, guys, the other ways that you can change your subconscious programming, the belief systems that you've got running in the background, perhaps from childhood, is to do things on my channel, like doing the emotional freedom technique, it's like having hypnotherapy. It can be um, the subliminals that I record for you. Affirmations work too, um, but it's part of it. Like you have to do it along with other things that work on your subconscious programming. So guys, like put the work in, you know, put the work in to work on your belief system, to work on your faith. You know, law of attraction is a lifelong journey. You know, it's not about just going oh, I asked for this, I really wanted instant gratification, I got it, then I went away and carried on, and then, there, you know, I came back. Like, it's about harnessing this as a lifestyle and saying, how do I, you know, choose myself? How do I look after my belief systems? How do I grow as a person? Um, and enjoying that unfolding rather than it just being like, we only show up for law of attraction when there's something that we want because law of attraction is working all the time. So that's why it has to be an investment of your time to be caring about the way you feel and your belief systems are a part of that. So that is my challenge to you guys. Before you next set any kind of intentions for your manifestation, before you do any kind of intention setting exercises, sit down and build your faith first. Do some EFT, some tapping, saying, I know this is possible for me do some scripting, journaling, saying, you know, thinking about all the times where you've already been blessed. Maybe try the Abraham Hicks focus wheel to build up some momentum of what you already know to be true in your experience. And I'll link my video to that in the comments below. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope this has been really helpful and I will see you soon for more content. Take care. Bye.